All right, we have the scoop, you guys. We are celebrating the grand opening of Back 40 Nashville. It's an incredible new restaurant near Printer's Alley downtown. That's right, this place is full of history, and the food tells a story, which is pretty cool. Wayne is the owner, and he brought along his talented chef, John. Welcome yes. in, guys. Yeah, it's also my partner as well. Absolutely. Oh, Thank awesome. you for having us. This looks Fabulous. magnificent. Okay, before we get to the food, because I'm, I'm really excited for that, you were in law enforcement for years. How did you make that transition? So I, I've been in law enforcement 30 years, retired last October oh, from wow. the Nevada Thank State you. Police as a sergeant. And I was asked to invest in a restaurant six years ago, made the investment. I ended up being involved with it, and that's how I met wow. Chef John. Mm -hmm. And from there, I loved that side of hospitality. So it was kind of going from serving the you know, public service to serving the public in a different <laughs> way, right? Exactly. So. And you know what's really cool? So serving the public, your family's history is actually like woven throughout the restaurant. And we have some really cool photos, old photos oh. uh, to share. Who is this? This is my grandmother. Wow. Yep, and this wow. is this is uh, my dad's side of the family when they were doing the ranching and harvesting back in the early 20s. That's my grandfather wow. um, back in the early 30s about then. So wow. some farmhouse we had back then and it's an old lantern I had when I was, uh, I still have that lantern today from the old farmhouse. Um, so. And it's going to be at the restaurant, right? It will. Okay. Absolutely. So cool. So, so cool. cool. Okay, speaking of the restaurant, we got to see some of this stuff. It is so yummy looking and you're making us some mussels, so explain. So right here we have our smoked tomato and aged chorizo mussels. Um, develop a little broth in there, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, um, some fennel infused as well. Kind of just get that going and then we'll pop our mussels in there. Mm. Just kind of get them nice and tossed in that sauce heat it up to where they're popping open, ready to, to be enjoyed. Um, and then we'll move them off into this bowl here. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll serve it with a little bit of a, a crispy baguette, as well as a little chopped parsley on top of those. Oh my gosh, this yummy. So and we're looking at all of the other incredible food that's on the table. Um, the, what is that? It looks like a Wellington over there. Yes, that's going to be on our lunch menu as one of our featured sandwiches. We're referring to it as the Chellington. Think of a beef Wellington, but um, in place of the filet, we're adding a grilled cheese with uh, featuring our house-made pimento <laughs> cheese in between those breads. Oh my gosh, and then moving along, that mac and cheese is calling my name. Oh yes, this is our jalapeno mac and cheese um, with a little bit of garlic streusel on top as well. This is one of our sides, but it's featured here as our meat and three. Um, just our kind of spin on that, uh, that classic Southern staple of meat and three sides. Um, we'll be having a bacon wrapped meatloaf that you can choose from as well as a <laughs> grilled or fried chicken and a grilled pork chop. Oh my gosh. And bacon wrapped meatloaf. Because <laughs> you need bacon on your meatloaf. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you guys have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you know what's really cool? We're all about supporting our first responders. And you being in law enforcement for decades, you actually have a charitable element when it comes to this restaurant. I do. I mean, first responders from anywhere around Nashville, come on in, grab a cup of coffee, right? Come down, mm -hmm. sit down, let's, let's talk. You know, if they have time, I know sometimes they're on the go like yeah. I was, but if they're if they're around our neighborhood in the restaurant, come in and grab a cup of coffee. I love, love, that. love that. So I love important. That. And I'm sorry, but we must talk a little bit about <laughs> what's down there next to Laura as well. So just part of our uh, our breakfast um, offerings here, we have a, an assortment of our muffins, um, biscuits. Um, orange spice cinnamon rolls, and our banana bread that is sure to blow everyone's mind. You said it's oh, the best wow. banana bread. Absolutely. Oh Laura's my gosh. All right, I'm I, handing I, you the banana. <laughs> <laughs> I need a banana Enjoy, bread in please. my life. Please. Chef please. John, you've been all over the world uh, cooking. Why Nashville? Why are you excited about Nashville? I'm excited about Nashville. I'm originally from Texas, so it does. It definitely gives me that, that kind of home feel from yeah. the south. Uh, I've been in Vegas for the past uh, dozen years or so, um, but, you know, coming to Nashville initially with Wayne and, and starting this project and uh, you know it's just it's just giving me kind of that uh, that little taste of home that I that I miss and I remember from Texas oh yeah what do you call yeah. it elevated country elevated rustic country elevated rustic right. country and, and I can attach yes. it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you guys everyone their food is so delicious do yourself a favor and check out this flavor visit back40nashville.com stay with us news two at three is Start